Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here, bringing you daily guidance for Monday, April 13th of 2020. Please always keep in mind however time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could be a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, it can be very um, helpful to check out your moon rising and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. These are going to be brief one card pulls. Today we're going to be using the Moonology Oracle. All right, let's get started with air signs. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What needs to be known about this right now? What is the energy for our air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is the daily guidance for air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius. All right, for Gemini, we have look at the bigger picture. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or maybe you have strong Sagittarius in your chart. But I think maybe you've been looking at things like the smaller details, really over analyzing, you know, rereading text messages. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Just really kind of focusing on all those little details. But what Spirit's asking you to do is take a step back and look at this from a bigger perspective. Look at this from a different angle. Okay, maybe you've been looking at this too closely. Maybe you need to be able to take a step back evaluate it in a new direction so that you can actually see everything kind of coming together being able to see this in a new light okay look at things as a whole further out does that make sense i feel like that makes sense <laughs> all right so for libra a time to give rather than take maybe you've been needing a lot of support lately and, you know, that's completely justifiable. It's completely understandable. You definitely could be done with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. But I think what Spirit's trying to tell us here is, you know, you've been needing a lot of support, but maybe because there's been so much kind of going on in your life, there could be people around you who maybe aren't even asking for help, but maybe they need more guidance from you or they need more support from you or they just need you to reach out. And again, it can be flipped or reversed. So it can be the opposite way around. It can be that you're constantly giving to other people and they're not constantly, they're not reciprocating. It's just constantly like a, an imbalance here. And somebody here needs something. It's like somebody needs somebody to kind of, they need a shoulder to cry on. That's the kind of energy that I got. You know, it's kind of like um, somebody here needs something, you know, they need some kind of support. Somebody here feels kind of left out in the situation with that you or the other person, you know, somebody here needs to be more understanding that the other person in this equation has their own problems as well. Somebody else needs to understand in this equation that somebody else needs somebody to be there for them. Maybe the person who people run to for guidance and help all the time, maybe they need someone to be there for them. All right, and Aquarius. We have, don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy. So you could be doing with a Leo, but you don't have to be. The energy here is like maybe someone here in this equation really hasn't. I mean, this could be friends, family, love, coworkers, whatever this pertains to be it's like somebody here is holding on to their pride their ego they don't want to be vulnerable they don't want to open up they don't want to apologize they don't want to admit that they've been wrong in the past so they're, they're letting pride get in their way right now they're hold they're holding themselves back from the situation what spirit's asking this person to do is let go of that you know um Someone here just wants to look like they're confident, like they have everything together. They don't want to admit how much this is really affecting them. However, this kind of plays out in the situation. You know, it could be in regards to anything. This is a general reading. But somebody here, I don't know if it's like your mom. I don't know if it's your brother. I don't know if it's your cousin. I don't know if it's, you know, your boss. I don't know who this is. Could be love. But somebody here needs to drop the ego. Someone here needs to step up and apologize, open their heart, be more vulnerable. Vulnerability is not always weakness. All right. That was our air message. All right. Earth signs, Taurus, Earth, Capricorn. We need to come through for the daily guidance for our Earth signs, Holy Spirit. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, for Taurus. We have your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. So you could be done with a Capricorn or somebody with heavy Capricorn in their chart. Maybe you have strong Capricorn in your chart. The energy here is like you've been working really hard in love, in life, at your career, your stability, your even like your spiritual um, connection, like to the source, like just that kind of like just working at so many aspects of your life. I think you're finally starting to see results. You're starting to finally get recognized for your hard work and what you bring to the table. It's like you've been 
really focused on a particular thing right now and it's like you're finally getting recognition for that and I think that's what's so crucial here because you've been giving it your all and like finally 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 seeing results that's kind of like the I'm getting like major relief for Virgo we have hold your vision so is there a dream a wish a plan something that you've really been holding dear to your heart I really feel like you may start to see some changes here. It's like it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, the, the energy that I'm feeling is just like, don't let this go. Don't give up on this. You know, if there's people in your environment who maybe aren't supportive of your dreams, your goals, your plans, you know, don't give up on it. You know, maybe keep some things kind of more quiet to yourself because maybe they're just, you know, unsupportive and you don't need that kind of toxicity in your life. Just remember to take care of you. Don't let anyone try to sway or you know, give you fear, you know, hold your vision, know what you want and go for it. Don't let anybody take that from you. Uh, Capricorn, we have, what do you need to release? Is it ego? Is it pride? Is it a toxic person? Is it a negative way of thinking? Okay. Release that, um, wiping the slate clean. It's like, maybe there's like an addiction, a bad habit. It doesn't have to be, you could be your person. Okay. Who you're thinking of, but somebody here has been holding on to something, something unhealthy for them. And it's like, something has to clear out. Something has to make room for new. Okay. Winter comes so that it can wipe the slate clean. Okay. Winter comes, you know, to give you a fresh start because what happens after winter time, spring, blossoming, growth, abundance, possibilities, okay, warmth, happiness. It's all coming after this, but something has to be cleared out of the picture here first. Something's got to be cut off. You know, it could just be a negative way of thinking. All right, that was our earth signs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are going to move into fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please, for April 13th, 2020. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. For Aries, we have your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. Um, but it's like maybe you have all of these plans, all of these hopes, all of these goals, these dreams that you've been kind of visioning for a while. But it's like it's not going to happen without some hard work. It's not going to happen without patience and planning. It's like you have to get really logical here. You know, it's like maybe you've been really ready to kind of take the bull by the horns and just go for it, make things happen. But it's like a calculated energy here, just trying to really sort through some things, get some things done. It's like you have to pave the path first, okay? You don't just buy a plot of land and then, you know, have your furniture delivered. No, you have to build the foundation, build the walls, build the roof, put the door on it. You know, you've got to, you've got to build first. It's got to take time. You have to have a reasonable plan, you know? It's going to be really cold if you're just moving your bed out into the middle of nowhere with no house, nowhere to keep you warm, okay? Does that make sense? That's a really weird visual. I don't know why that's coming in here, but... It's like, you can't just, you can't make a mountain out of nothing without some work. You know, it's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take a lot of planning. Okay. Whatever this is that you're trying, hoping to do. All right. So for Leo, we have hold your vision. Virgo just got this card. So again, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart, but you don't have to be. The energy here, it's like you have a goal, you have a plan, you have a dream, something you've been holding near and dear to your heart. Maybe you haven't expressed this to a lot of people. Maybe you've kept some of this kind of hidden. Maybe you've been a little bit open, but you've kind of, I don't know why I keep getting that feeling when I see this card, of like somebody kind of pulling back in. It's like, maybe you let a little bit out. So, you know, I'd really love to be a vet tech or a ballerina or I'd really love to date this person again or give this relationship a chance and then there's like kind of this energy of somebody being like no I don't think it's a good idea you shouldn't do x y or z or you should just focus on what you're doing right now don't take any kind of chances don't take any kind of risk but it's like you really have this close to your heart this is something that you're truly desiring I would say protect it at all costs hold on to it don't let anybody try to take that from you go after what you want who cares what they got to say about it it's your life you live it <laughs> all right and Sagittarius. Prosperity lies ahead. So maybe you're done with a Taurus. Um, the energy here is it's like all of this hard work. I'm really getting, I think Taurus had a similar message. I feel like it was all this hard work, all of this, um, everything you've been doing. It's like you've been working so hard. You've been so dedicated and focused. It's like, finally, you're going to see things start to pay off. It's like, 
you've put so much in, it's time to finally get something out of it. It's like, I don't know if this is in career, if this is in love, if this is just a situation. You've been working on this for quite some time. You've put a lot of time and energy into this. You've been hoping for this, working hard for this. You haven't just been sitting on your hands. You've been making things happen for yourself. I think you're finally starting to get recognized for what you bring to the table. I think you're going to see abundance ahead. I think you're going to see changes being made. All right. That was our fire signs. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are going to move into, last but not least, water signs for the daily, April 13th of 2020. All right. <clears throat> Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, please. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, for Cancer, we have Surrender to the Divine. So, is Spirit trying to nudge you in a particular direction? Do you have some kind of inkling, some kind of suspicion, even like your your purpose is something greater than? It's like you feel spiritually drawn in a direction. It's like you can't seem to fight it no matter where you go. It's like a beacon of light guiding you in this direction. Like, you know this is what's meant for you. You know this is your path. You've tried to fight it. You've tried to hold back from it. But no matter what you do, this, it's like right there. It's like everywhere you look around, signs, synchronicities, everything is kind of pointing you in this direction. It's something that you can't fight anymore. Stop running from it. Just allow yourself to kind of full heartedly embrace it. You know, I think that's where you're going to find your abundance. You know, stop running. You know, don't chase it, but allow it to come to you. Okay. Allow, allow the universe to bring it to you you know, surrender, stop fighting. And I feel like you've been trying to run from this calling for quite some time, whatever this pertains to be. It's like, you can't do that anymore. You're facing it now. Things are aligning to bring this to you. For Scorpio, a personal issue re reaches resolution. So it could be done with a cancer, or some strong cancer in their chart, but you don't have to be. It's like, maybe this is something that you I don't know. This could be love. This could be family. This could be work. Maybe you're having issues in an area of your life. Maybe someone's not really communicating effectively to you. Maybe you're not getting recognized. You're not getting through to your bosses or, you know, just in work, things are kind of frustrating, but it's like, finally, something is going to start to sort, sort itself out. You're going to see progress in a particular direction. You're going to see things kind of changing here. Definitely taking some type of turn here. Finally getting some kind of information, some kind of clarity. Things are getting better. Like if it's a work relationship and you and your coworker are constantly butting heads, it's like sorting itself out. If there's a person you're talking to, you just can't seem to get make any progress with this particular person. Finally, you're starting to be able to get through to this person and see things, started to get that information that you need from this person. It's like finally something is sorting itself out and it's long overdue. It feels like it's a long time coming. All right, and Pisces, we have, have faith in your dreams. So is there something particular that you have been wishing for, hoping for, praying for, throwing a coin into a wishing well kind of energy here? You've been manifesting something, calling it in. You don't want to really give up on it. Maybe it feels far away from you. Maybe it feels unattainable in some way, but have faith in that, you know, positive thoughts and visualizations, manifesting positive change, allowing that to come to you, release negativity, have faith, don't lose hope. You know, it's like, if this is what you truly want, if this is your soul's calling, this is your heart's desire, don't give up on it. You know, um, just remember to be in control of your thoughts. When I always feel that, you know, if you're starting to lose hope, you're starting to lose faith in a situation, you're constantly overthinking a lot of negative energy, try to release that. Positive thoughts and affirmations bring positive change. Manifest positive new change, okay? So just be in control of your thoughts. Don't give up on your dreams. But sometimes they do require a lot of hard work and dedication. So have faith. Changes are coming. Believe in the impossible. All right, you guys. This was the daily reading for April 13th of 2020. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.